One, two, three, go. We're here. We're here. Who's ready? <laughs> Let's stop that. We don't. Y'all don't need to you hear know, me twice. Y you know, I, uh, I I can't really stand up to Squick doing Yoda's laugh. <laughs> that is one of a number of sounds that can escape from my human voice box. Yes. Oh, a voice cool. box I have. <laughs> And that's deeply concerning. <laughs> oh, guys, as you can tell, uh, tonight we are being joined, that's right, uh, Warlax and I, uh, Parallax of the Black Pants Legion and Warlax of the, uh, the Brown Bridges Brigade, are being joined by Squick of the Dulcet Tones. Squick is here Hello. to sing you uh, songs and perhaps dance. Really? Really? I'm not part of the Black Pants Legion anymore? Oh, no. Sure, sure you are. Sure you are. It's just, you're, it, it's it's a special unit. You're special forces there, Warlocks. <laughs> oh, well, that's not concerning at all. <laughs> In related news, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or good night, depending on your time zone. Possibly good morning. The Earth is, after all, round. Are you sure? And much like the clock face we measured on, time moves in circles. I would just like to make the point here that the top of this bottle cap is also round. Yes. And is it the same round? Is the earth, in fact, a dish with upturned sides the way that the Greeks believed? I mean, they made the euro, so <laughs> probably they were pretty good at that. That's it. The Earth is pita-shaped, folks. We have settled it once and for all. I don't know what the fuck we're going to do with this information, but there you go. Well, okay, maybe we can use a grappling hook to attack the moon. That's right. We're going to go swimming in Moon River. Oh, yes. The finest vacation spot available this side of Extra Orbital Options. This is true. Now, I swear at some point we're going to talk... About painting, maybe. I wouldn't swear to it, though. I mean, anything's fucking possible here. But That's welcome. Here for. Welcome to the Numeric Workshop, Painting with Parallax, folks. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it, because you've been putting up with me trying to figure out how moderator tools in Twitch works and other such nonsense now for a little bit. So, uh, let's go straight into our uh, user submissions. We got some wicked cool space marines here, and, uh, you know, I think, Warlax, I think these are up your alley. Up my alley? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, wow. Bunches and bunches of salamanders. Yeah. Hey, Grimos. Does it have enough um, fire, though? No. Answer. No. Possibly. No. There's no such thing as enough fire. Well, I mean, this is the Legion of Zorg. Praise his uh, burning name. Exactly. Oh my do you God. know how the Do you know how the salamanders deal with their problems? Um, I would like to venture a guess. Oh, I, Go I'm for it, Squid. Is it fire? Yes, it is very much fire. Is it turbo oh. fire? It is liberal applications of standard fire. Oh, I was hoping for turbo fire. I mean, the librarian that they have in with that group is quite capable of turbo fire. I okay. am certain of that. I'm willing we to have accept. Turbo fire at home. Well, <laughs> turbo fire at home. It's a lighter. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's it's a pressurized lighter, like this one that I'm holding that nobody can see yet. But okay, so like one of the ones where just the uh, the gas valve maybe isn't quite how the factory intended it. Well, I mean, they sold it as a pressurized one, so I should hope so. I hope they meant it to do this. Anyway, like, this is one view of this lovely bunch of uh, of uh, salamanders, and I, I would go ahead and tell you who did this, but I don't want to actually say the name that I've got on it because it appears to be the maker's full name. If you're in chat, please own up to it because these are pretty great. Uh, They're I don't... fantastic. Uh, there we go. Ah, bah. That dread. Oh, that is. Pretty. Yeah, but look in front of that dread. We got ourselves yes. a noise marine, yeah. boys. <laughs> the sexy, sexy sound of the Saxon. 
So, um, murder flute. <laughs> <laughs> toot toot goes the murder flute, says Pooh. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I haven't seen the new Winnie the Pooh horror movie, and I hope not to. I have small children that love that the Winnie the Pooh, so I need that to not happen. So, um, Jason, this shit's great. I love it, and I especially love Sax Marine. Sax Marine's amazing. More Sax Marine. Is that considered a power saxophone? That's my question. It might be considered a sax bolter? I'm not sure. Maybe a mega sax? Although, it being a salamander, it could be a melta. Uh, a saxaflamer? There we go. Sa saxaflamer, folks. We're going with saxaflamer. That's powerful. That's powerful. I would like to uh, put in for meltaphone. Ooh, meltaphone. Ooh, can I buy a vow? I love it. So, the point is, we've got options. We do. We do. Saxaflamer, Grimos. I also like that. That, you see, there's plenty of good options here. Uh, we had one other. Uh, let's see. And this one is from Morgana Balor, who I saw in chat a moment ago. So you get to own up to this one. Now, being not <laughs> as crotch thrust triggered flame. <laughs> oh, Morgana. Like, squick. Just quick, tell us about this thing. I don't play 40k. I, I've seen this before, but tell me about it. I also don't play 40k, but from the context clues, I believe it to be a heavy assault taxi. It could be uh, a submarine. Designed, designed for use in lower New York. Yes, the hive city of New York. <laughs> that sounds correct. No, that is beautiful, though. I, I love the... Uh, subtle wear lines across it um, <laughs> no i mean getting something so it looks weathered without looking absolutely thrashed is a fine art oh yes and that looks <laughs> pretty good i'm not saying i would voluntarily get into it morgana has said have... everything you've said so far is accurate if you have that many guns on the outside of your vehicle i feel like you're expecting somebody to shoot at you and at that point i'm just gonna take uh you know Maybe the city bus? I don't know. Like, at that, I'd, well, I'd feel... Well, squick, squick, here's the problem. Um, you're in a hive city, which means that everything is going to shoot at you. Yeah. Ah, okay, I understand. Step one is leave. Yes. Oh. Like, ah, this is a very nice hive city. It's terrifying. I'm out. <laughs> oh, let's move on to the next segment. Although, this is gorgeous. I just want to say that real quick. You've got a... Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. A beautiful the, the coat on this with some the great honest, depth. The honest question that I would have is because there are so many legions with the color red, what were we going for? Ooh, that's a good question. It may have been the red angels. Um, I'm almost thinking blood angels, but I'm not 100% sure, and I don't want to say it's blood angels and insult the person who did a Morgana. gorgeous job. Morgana, what is it? Help, they're gonna know we're dumb. <laughs> no, they know that already. I've been doing this for a while. Oh, okay. Uh, it's just a display piece. It's just a display piece. It could be whatever you want, but it is gorgeous. Now, you see, you they... Have to, you have to sculpt a, an actual, like, uh, rooftop sign that says taxi to put over that. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, they're saying that uh, this is a piece that they painted to help sell more of these. And that only leads me to one question. And that question is, um, Orlex, when are you going to do one for your shop? When they'll pay me to do it. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That when, I, when I don't have to pay for the model. Um, no, in general, I'm doing the Rhino that I was uh, messing around with today uh, for the store, but it's... Um, um, legally distinct from. Oh, gotcha. Visually similar to, but legally distinct from a Rhino. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's, the, that's the rare imperialist um, hippo. Hippo tank. Uh, that sounds... No, correct. it's the imperialist uh, bicorn. 
Oh, by oh, clearly, clearly, guys, it's oh, bicorn. But yeah, you know. So here's the shit we've been doing recently. Uh, Warlax, I've got you up first. So um, okay. Tell me about this. T tell well, the world what you have wrought. Well, um, you may recognize that this is the piece that I was working on last week. Um, however, what I have done in the uh, preceding days has been to seriously focus on that leather. I liked the way that it had come out, but it hadn't been fully like natural in the way that it looked. Um, so I did a couple of different washes. Um, went back through and highlighted with uh, dry brush and actually was theorizing putting a, a kind of a red glaze over it too, but still haven't gotten to the red glaze portion. Um, I like the way that the shadows have popped up a lot more um, and in uh, general just have really liked the way that that has come out. Excellent. I like it. I think it's looking good. Uh, I was trying one of these myself the other day, and I just put, like, a quick coat of uh, one of my new speed paints on it. And it's good enough for, like, maybe canvas. It's not great. So like, you've definitely done better on this than I was able to, like, very quickly on this. So this is this is coming well, together well, very nicely. Well, in general, uh, speed paint is great, but th there is uh, things that it is used for, and that yeah. is uh, doing things fast. Not this is necessarily, true. This is true. Not necessarily doing things super well. Now, now this one's different. This one, this one, you got to talk with Chad about. We got thirty-two people sitting in here, and like you need to, All you need right, to have a conversation. So so, your brain cells, this Kat. wonderful piece that you see here uh, was gifted to me by Para um, when I asked for another um, uh, another piece to be sent my way. Um, I have been looking at this for a while. It is supposed to be a Chaos uh, Auxilla unit from the Horus Heresy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what color scheme i want to do it in so i leave that up to chat chat what would you like to see put him through the ringer chat get it chat, feed us your brain thoughts. yes yes chaos solar auxilia boys pink beer guy says pink that's one vote for pink Keep them coming. We'll lock it in by the uh, by the end of the recent work section. So you guys get it to us over the next couple of minutes. We got a pink. We got a purple. Pink and green. Like, ooh. <laughs> well, Lex, I think you're in for a time. <laughs> I figured I would be. I'm just going to throw this out here. A chat did mention a statue, and that got me to think. And between the pose, the flag... The relative chonkiness of them, they do have kind of that red and gold propaganda poster flair about them. Mm -hmm. They could very easily be Soviets, yes. Space Soviet. Moon Soviets. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> this is... Soviets from the under... Oh, look at that. that Grimos has got you set, man. Red that and gold with purple definitely... and pink highlights. They're okay. gonna be fabulous! That Slaneshi, is huh? Old <laughs> statement. We're here for the propaganda! Okay. Here's something I've been working on. Moonbeats. Yes, Moonbeats. Uh, you guys saw me start this last week with uh, some speed paints. Um, God, this thing ended up nice. It really did. Oh, man. Squick, you see it. What do you think? Okay. So, first off, because I have to get the shit posty stuff out of the way or it's going to come back to haunt me later. Do it. The dude looks like he just dropped an album and is prepared to flex on the cover. I have been saying that I'm pretty sure that he's uh, Iron Maiden's uh, mascot, Eddie. Yeah, yeah. He's like... In the far-off future where everything's bad, one man raps to save the world. And it's just, bam, smash cut to Swole Mummy. 
<laughs> no, I, I guess I shouldn't do that. I don't want to get a strike on us for singing Power Slave. Oh, no. <laughs> but, uh, no, that's that's very nice. The uh, highlights there especially are classily done. Is that uh, full metallic gold there? And Are those painted highlights, or is that actual lighting uh, highlight there? Well, uh, it is actual metallic gold, but for the most okay. part, everything that's not the gold did get actual highlights. Now, the purple what? on here, I want to say the purple on here is speed paint. Nothing else here is. I started speed paint on the bandages and such, and it just didn't come through. So all those bandages were manual? Damn. Yeah. All right, respect. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, you're going to run into a few things here where it's just like, Jesus Christ, Bear, how much time did you spend on this? My, uh, my kids and my wife are out of town right now, so I haven't had anything to distract me or anything else to do. <laughs> so I've painted so fucking much lately and not in like volume, but like just in time. I'm, I'm looking the farther I look here, like the uh, between the knee skulls uh -huh. or behind the knee skulls. We have the turquoise going into gold with no overlap between them and mm -hmm. nothing. I'm, wow. Yeah. Let's no, quick. Let, let me let me get up. let me give you a, let me give you a pointer there. Paint the turquoise first. <laughs> and then you can do the gold over the top of that and just kind of come in sideways over your uh, your piece and you won't uh, penetrate down into the recesses. Guys, you can't just add more dicks to everything. Well, I mean, I guess you could. Okay, you shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't add more Not dicks everything to should be turbo dicked. <laughs> oh. Okay, this oh, was... Did, did I hear Slanesh again? You did. You did. This was uh, something very much like an orc that may or may not be an orc that I was working Legally on. Legally distinct from. Yes. That looks like an urk. Yeah, it's an urk. This is a... This is a he, he goes wag. He doesn't go wog. He goes wag. But um, wag here was... Uh, he was an experiment in pushing contrast on the skin for the most part. And I'm pretty happy with how that went. Like, a lot of oh, time yeah. got spent on that skin. Not nearly as much on everything else, but... Damn, he's got big hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, irks tend to. I mean, that's so they can high-five real well to the death. That's right. That's exactly what happened there. I don't have a whole lot else to say about him. Just, like, his arms look good, and I'm happy with that. Yeah, for everyone out there who may only just be getting into the process of all of this, there are pieces that are like that, where you just hyper-focus on one thing because you think it's really cool and you learn a lot by doing that. Yeah, that the, the next piece here is that in spades. I think you already know what it is, Warlax, but this next piece uh, I painted in one day and it took a work day worth of hours like i really think i put eight hours in on this next one and like I, i'm just gonna put it up um after uh b1b flyer came in to the chat last week i remembered i still had my shalom fighter from the battletech kickstarter and flyer had done this one kind of weathered up and it was just gorgeous and there's a video on camo specs about it and it's amazing and I wanted to do exactly this. And let me tell you something. Getting exactly this with the depth of color that's on here, especially with the white that's on it, and making sure that you've got panel lining and that kind of stuff. Oh, that like the pre-shading with the gray and all that. That can be a real pain in the ass if you're using an airbrush. And I didn't use an airbrush. Like, all of this was brushwork. I, oh, yeah. Okay, that does change that flavor just a bit. Yeah. And by the way, as as I uh, when I posted it on my Instagram Mad Ducks, my comment on it was that uh, this Shalone is not perfect, but she's good enough to kill an Ilkhan. So let me ask you this. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? I like like Warlax was saying. I hyper focused on this piece, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. 
So but did you enjoy the process? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I like right. getting better at this, and I feel like this is as simple as this piece can really seem. I feel like this is probably the piece I've done the best on so far. Well, then it sounds like time mighty well spent. I like uh, to think so. I've had my own uh, attempts at mixing red, white, and blue on uh, prop scale items, and it did not go well. It's damn hard to make them play nice together. Mm -hmm. I think you've done an excellent job here. Thank you. The thing that gave me the most trouble, aside from the shading around the panel lines, because... It's not just down in the panel lines, it's up around them and all that kind of stuff, was getting the lines just right from where it met the blue. I don't know, the red wasn't a problem, but there are longer blue lines that don't have panel lines there. Now, yeah, if, if you were playing with an airbrush, then I could see a couple of things you might have gone after differently, but mm -hmm. going pure, pure hand brush... A, again, bold choice. And B, mm -hmm. I think that paid off pretty well. Thank you. Now, there was one other thing. I showed this to my wife after I finished it. And she looked at it and she said, uh-huh, that looks good. Because she doesn't paint. She doesn't She doesn't understand why this kind of thing necessarily takes eight hours. But she looked at it and she said, those numbers decals? Those numbers are not decals. <laughs> no, they are not. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. It was, and you know, she was impressed by that. I swear to God, of all the details that are on this thing, that was the smallest amount of time spent on anything. And it was maybe 10 minutes. Yes, it has numbers now, and they look like stencil. Good job, me. And uh, Okay, no, I'm going to fight back on the good job, you sarcasm there. <laughs> like, you did a good job, so deal with it. Okay. Adding, <laughs> adding a hard edge... Um, assuming freehand here? Or yes. Even with, yeah, adding a hard edge that looks like a hard edge freehand to something of that scale where you have competing lines around it trying to draw the eye astray, that's not easy. No. Thank you, Squig. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Uh, and just, just so that uh, everybody can see that I wasn't cheesing the system here and not painting the parts you wouldn't see, I got the bottom. I didn't spend as much time on the bottom. But I got the bottom, and it, it looks fine. Ah, the stab hole. <laughs> Indeed, the stab hole for the fighter. That's how it docks, you know. I'm uh -oh. going to leave that one alone. <laughs> oh, oh, giggity. <laughs> giggity. Oh, no. Okay. Well, with that out of the way, uh, with... Uh, Tira Miraborg's uh, Shalom finished up there. That's the last thing that I had finished up for the week. Um, so let's go ahead and get into things here. What colors did we decide on for uh, Warlax? I think the last I saw Red, was... gold, pink, and purple highlights. Yeehaw. Well, Mad Ducks, what are we thanking me for? We're going to go ahead and move into the actual camera view here. Uh, camera. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Hey, there we go. There we go. And now, now, hopefully this looks a little bit better than it has. We're no longer depending on digital zoom. Um, I, guys, I want you to know that Squick is responsible for the equipment that I'm largely using here. Uh, Squick, some months ago, helped me try to get a camera I already had working. And... When that didn't work, he made some good recommendations, and... Oh, Mad Ducks, that looks good. You should have sent that to us. I would have put it in. Oh, that's it's a nice shadow hawk. I like would you it. Like to remind, would you like to remind would people... Would I what, like to know. remind people where they can send things in if they'd like for us to go over them? Well... Yes! I think we could do that. You could send in any of the artwork that you want. You could send it in to... Um, I believe that uh, email address, Warlax, is um, art at WBPL76.com. That's right, art at WBPL76.com. And, um... Hey, Squick, could you repeat that for us? Once again, ladies and gentlemen, that is art 
at WBPL76.com, A as in Alpha, R as in Romeo, T as in Tango, at WBPL76, that's the name of this channel, dot com, like every other website. That's the one. That's the All right. one. So, so, so what you're saying is it is art at WBPL76. That's right. WBPL76, uh, viewer and listener supported. We're your local bullshit station. And uh, Mad Ducks, Mad Ducks, it all. Uh, let me let me go ahead and say this: there are thirty six of you in chat right now. I want to reiterate: any model with paint on it is better than a gray model, and I will happily show off any of them. Send them to me. We'll talk about them. If you want, like, if you want any comments on it or advice on it, put that in the email. Hopefully, Diggs will pass that part along to me too. But like. Send that shit to me. Next week you send that to me. I'll... Okay, not next week. I won't be here next week. But the following week, we'll talk about it. I mean, it's... How much do you see uh, from us that we put up here that is in-progress stuff? Oh, yeah. That's because we want you to see it. Yeah, and, and, I, and I have said this before on this channel. Um, a lot of times you're going to be painting shit. And you're going to look at it and you're going to be unhappy with it. Because you look at it and say, this isn't how I want this to look. But you need to remember, in almost all cases, art looks like shit until it doesn't. And then it doesn't. So sometimes you just have to put more work in. Now, uh, yes, Beer Guy, you send me your Lumberjack theme hatchet, man. We'll put that in here, too, because that sounds fucking radical. That sounds amazing. It does. I, I hope he's wearing buffalo plaid, honestly. <laughs> okay, and, you know, I wasn't sure what I was going to paint tonight, but y'all have inspired me. Let's do something I was in progress with and never finished. And that is kind of in the midst of that looks a little bit like shit stage. This is a crab. This is, this is just your average crab. Uh, this particular model was made by the uh, Leilanian Industrial Complex. Uh, you can find their stuff on uh, My Mini Factory and Cults, I believe. So, uh, crab is good mech. We like crab. But I got started on this thing, and I just put, like, an olive drab coat over it, and I said, I don't know what else to do with this thing. So, tonight... And Tabasco crab. And Tabasco crab. Oh, grumble. <laughs> but I'm Come thinking... I did, this, I did this once before with, with some crabs... Uh, okay, that's what it was. It was, uh, come on, don't leave me. Uh, green with blue and yellow gives us the regimental colors for the, uh, the Black Watch. So let's do that. Let's make a Black Watch crab. Bully Snake, Bully Snake. Uh, we sent the leather working along to uh, Stryker because we weren't sure if it was for us or for not. But we have definitely seen it, and we uh, are aware of it, and we were, we're trying to talk uh, Stryker into putting it on his channel. So, like, we will take anything you guys want to send in. Like, if you want to talk about leather working, woodworking, I do woodworking and metalworking myself in addition to painting of tiny things, we'll talk about it. I'd love to talk about it. Just make sure that if you're going to send something in, that uh, you make sure to uh, like put the the show title yeah if, uh, if, if, in the subject line so that we know where it's going. Yeah, uh, make sure that you send in the uh, the show title that you want it to show up on so that we know. Like I said, Bully Snake, um, I'll need a minute. I'll have to grab it and pull it in here to get it. But. Um, also, give us the name that you want on screen. Like, I didn't want to say Jason's full name earlier, who sent in all the salamanders. They're wicked rad. But, yeah, absolutely. Send us whatever you've got. Anything that's artistic, we're happy to see it. I'm happy to see it. I don't know what the fuck Warlax's deal is, but I'm happy. I'm happy. It's just... I mean, frankly... I've got... Frankly, Squick doesn't know what happiness is. Squick is, in fact, <laughs> an automaton sent from the future to have sultry tones. I also contain human... Um, 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 Meat parts? Yes, Bits? I have them. 
No, I'm just genuinely enthusiastic about seeing people do things they're passionate about. Yeah, I, yeah, and it, I have always loved listening to people talk about making shit, and it doesn't matter if it's literally shit. Well, okay, I, I don't want to talk about literally that, that shitting. Is a that, genre. that that is that's not allowed on Twitch. Um, but like whether it's literally making things or it's conceptually making things like one of my favorite things on earth to listen to is comedians talk about uh doing comedy that's great i love that shit that's fantastic so like send us whatever all right all right that said crap i need yellow uh, yellow we're gonna go with uh Averland sunset and as I slowly try to work through the Citadel paints I have left, we'll also start with Caldor Sky. Honestly, this little crab here, he may not take too long to finish up because he kind of got a speed paint coat on him. And we'll see how this goes. Yeah, this and, whole time, my brain has just been going like, ah, yes, the easy joke. Black watch plaid? No. I've Black done that. Black watch crab. <laughs> I actually have done plaid on these before. Timing. Oh my. Oh my. I, I think that you is got... actually my text tone. So I wasn't sure yeah. if it was you or if it was Squick, but um. No, my... that 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 is uh, straight up my text tone for when someone uh, reaches out to me, because nice. I figured. I, I might as well have something that makes me smile because in my old line of work, that uh, didn't happen as much as I would have appreciated it to. That's right. Well, that's in 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 his previous life, Warlax was a mortician. Uh, no. Hey, hey, we're building a cinematic universe here. Oh no! Can um, we at least build it with a proper? Uh... Go ahead. Proper what? Uh, with the proper occupations? No, because this is a knife fight city uh, cinematic universe, and now you're a mortician. Okay. But what was it, if you want to tell us? If you if you must correct me. Uh, car sales. Oh, well, that's... Ooh, my condolences. I've worked support there. If I remember correctly, you told me they were Subarus. Uh, they were indeed Subarus. Oh, with the giant, weird, dangly cross belt that goes in front of everything? Mm, by the time I was selling them, they had gotten rid of that, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, did they have the pizza box slot in the back? That's probably not for a pizza box, but I always wanted to put one in there. Um, the WRXs did still have something like that, yes. Okay, can you actually put a pizza box in there? Uh, I never tried. This is what the uh, the cast is now, guys. We're, we're streaming Squick asking <laughs> questions about pizza boxes and Subarus. This is what I we're doing. I just want to know if they Oh, no, fit. no. This is excellent. Uh, this is excellent material. Well, speaking of excellent material, we have a quick question from the chat over yonder. As soon Ooh, as my eyeballs can find Yonder again. chat. Yes, Omega Epsilon would like to know, have you ever thought about getting a wet palette? Answer to that. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. I've thought you, about getting a wet palette. Do, do, Here it do, is. Do you know? <laughs> Here it is. Yeah. Here's my wet palette. Okay. Okay. I was half expecting <laughs> him to come back with just like a bottle of water and slowly upend it. Blah, 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 blah. Palette wet. <laughs> oh. I, I have a wet palette. I have tried it. I don't typically do painting sessions in such a way where I'm mixing paints or anything like that so much that I need to maintain like same colors on a palette or something like that. Eh, I, I have it. I've used it. I can see where it's useful. I am not the use case. You know, understandable. I've I found it really useful again on the prompt painting side of things, which is related, but different. If, if you have a specialty color set that you've mixed up and you want it to be consistent, mm -hmm. but you can't cover everything with that color in the same uh, either session or within like 10, 15 minutes of each other. Yep. Then I found the wet palette is fantastic for those. Yeah, it's yes, like, absolutely it is. But, you know, for the most part, I'm doing, you know, I, I'm not doing army painting. I'm painting right. individual models at a time and 
mostly for me, this is all practice stuff. I just want to get better at this. Yeah, I, I mean, even with me, even doing army painting, I still don't have a wet palette uh, for the simple reason that all of my uh, stuff is individually made. So, you know, I take the little bit of extra time, one, and two, um, the, the wet palette is great, but you want to know what works just as well as a wet palette? Uh, I a, pa a guess. paper towel, a, a paper towel with a little bit of water on it. I mean, that is effectively a wet palette. Yes. Yeah. Throw that inside like a Ziploc uh, Tupperware thing. Yeah. You're golden. We got Mad Ducks Forty Two over here uh, creating the McStompus Company. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. And I believe Mad Duck that is technically a war crime. <laughs> in that it is a crime that takes place during war. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen Kelly's Heroes. Oh. <laughs> I've seen Kelly's Heroes, and to tell you the truth, that ain't a war crime. It is, in fact, a crime that took place during a war. It is oh, only no. a crime that took place during a war, and it's not a war. <laughs> oh, Mad Ducks, you're just getting props for the Mixtopus company. So, nothing to worry about, nothing bad. Oh, well, I'm not sure about that. You might have things to worry about, but... Well, okay, probably yeah. not from us. I don't know. <laughs> you are now on six governmental lists. The Hague might be by later. Mm, the art gallery? Yes. Wonderful. Big fan of their stuff. They're, they're going to show up and be like, hey, we heard you were painting some minis. We're the Hague, by the way. <laughs> That's how the Hague introduces itself. Just no, like, we're the Hague, by the way. Yeah, they don't have employees. You've just joined the collective of the Hague. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, seems right. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> got uh, more questions from chat. Uh, I think this is got... the questions from chat hour here at uh, well, Painting I'm, with Paradox. I'm just gonna pick some of them until and, you uh... tell me to lay off. No, no, I, no, you, no you, you are free I... to do this. I'm just gonna. Even questions no. from the masses. <laughs> the masses, oh. they require your question answering. Yes, it's interactive. Oh, uh, no. But then I looked away, and then my eyeballs didn't look back, and then... Guys, uh, Squick lost his eyeballs. I'm very concerned. Yeah, I will find more. They are available. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not an automaton from the future. I'll just find some new eyes. These are standard human ocular jelly spheres. Uh-huh. They are subpar. Jesus Christ, what the hell's going on over there? I don't know, but it doesn't sound <laughs> comfortable. Okay. What? You Nexus 7, I make your eyes. Yeah, I make your eyes. Oh, okay. So Blade Runner, damn fine film. Indeed. But I feel, and this is a controversial opinion, that as a movie, it wasn't great. It was very pretty. It was incredibly atmospheric. But much like The Fifth Element, the plot, the plot works, but it's purely a vehicle for show us the cool thing. Well, show us the cool thing. I'm not necessarily sure I entirely agree with that. It is not the dramatic set piece of a sci-fi feature that it could have been, and I am entirely okay with that. It didn't need to be. You know, understandable. And really, I think as long as we had a decent time with it, it was pretty good. I liked 2049 also. I, again, but same thing, but more. Like I think 2049, the plot didn't need to be there and didn't really add anything to it beyond I... an impetus to be at the cool place. Okay, I'm willing to accept that uh, you're wrong, but that's fine. I am often wrong, but I'm also loud, and that makes me correct. Mm. <laughs> Political statements. Oh, I was just being loud. Oh, I know, um... I know. It's a joke, it's a joke. <laughs> okay, so I, I found the thing I was looking for. It was Lord Grimos saying, uh, Kelly's Heroes is great. So a question, what type of uh, mech slash machines would they have? And Here's where I'm going to have to admit my ignorance because I don't know what a Kelly's Heroes is. Kelly's not Heroes sounding like a bangin' sandwich shop. <laughs> Kelly's Heroes was a film, I believe it was 1969, 
starring Donald Sutherland. Um, let's see, Clint Eastwood. Uh, oh, I always want to say Yul Brenner, but it's not Yul Brenner. Um, let's go, let's start with Donald Sutherland, and Clint Eastwood. Those those were really the. Uh, and shit, there was a comedian. Who is the comedian in that? Uh, let's let's look it up real quick with our telepresence devices. I'm positive the chat's going to beat me. Don Rickles! Thank you! Don, see? Don Rickles is in it, and um, there's a fourth guy. This sounds like a sandwich shop. <laughs> That's right. Don Rickles just hanging out at it. It's a deli. I would totally watch a, a movie that's like Kelly's Heroes featuring Don Rickles as Sandwich Guy. Okay, it was 1970. Telly Savalas, that's who it was. Okay. And then also it had uh, Archie Bunker in it, but he was incidental. So the whole plot of this is it's World War II. You have a couple of guys who are deployed in France. I guess a unit, an infantry unit that's deployed in France, and they catch tail of a uh, relatively undefended German bank just across the border. Some border. I, I guess it's still France. I don't remember where it is. But uh, they uh, decide to go and rob it, and it's full of gold. So they go and they rob it, and Donald Sutherland is this... He's not exactly a tank commander because their officer died, but he is the ranking NCO, and he's an interesting character. I won't get too okay. far into it. It's a fun movie. It is a dumb movie, and I fully endorse it. But they so go and they rob a, like... a bank in German it's... territory. <laughs> so it, it sounds a lot like uh, the plot of this is, hey... We're over here, we're heavily armed, and the dude who can tell us no just bit it. You guys want to go rob a bank? Well, uh, Savalas yes, in this Savalas in this is their is the infantry CO, and they talk him into being on board with it because he doesn't like their captain. <laughs> hey, this guy's a jerk and he's gonna be so mad. You want in? He's actively trying to kill us. Let's do it. Nice. This is a great movie. I wholly endorse looking it up. If I were to say what kind of tank would they have, then you have to stop and say, what kind of American or what kind of mech lines up to the M4A1 Sherman? Because that's what it, that's what they had. They had three 75 millimeter Shermans, and I don't know if we're going to look at this from like the Succession War era. Maybe they're Clint's. They're not great, but there's a ton of them. They're easy to take care of. I think a Clint Cicada. works. No. I mean, nobody deserves that. Their favorites. Nobody deserves Cicada. Oh, God. People trying to rob a bank in an urban mech. It's <laughs> like, okay, it's gone well. We've busted open the door. Time to leave. No, oh. a Sherman a Sherman actually moves faster than an urban mech. I think you're not wrong. In any event, they get there, and it uh, turns out that there are uh, two Tiger Ones guarding the bank that they didn't know about. Ooh, yeah, okay. yeah. But they take care of it. It's fun. But uh, also, uh, Donald Sutherland's little tank group also, like, they're pretending that they're all shell-shocked. So they're doing shit okay. like they've, they've gone through and they've done crazy shit with their tanks. So they all have loudspeakers on them and Donald Sutherland has this whole thing where he goes through and he talks about the tanks that we have and it's like, when we go into battle we like to play music very loud and we have these special oh, rounds in our tank, tank that uh, they're full of paint so when we shoot them they, uh, they make pretty pictures it scares the hell out of people so that's what they do, like there's a scene where they drive out of a train tunnel in formation and assault this German base and they're just playing this loud fucking music and shooting paint at infantry soldiers. <laughs> it's fantastic. Okay, so that explains a reference I wasn't getting in another thing I was reading. Thank you. You're no welcome. Now. You're very welcome. The more you know. Da, 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 da. It's all Lichter, fucked up. Oh, that too. Lictor Imperialis is saying, you guys will get me back into painting minis 12 years after I gave up my Tau army in 40k because Battletech ain't costing an entire mortgage to build. 
This is true. So also, and we got uh, Omega Epsilon dropping something in the chat. Let me take a look here. Wow. What you got? I don't know what I'm looking at, but uh, that's, that's cool as hell. I will take a look at that as soon as I can actually find an image reference for the Black Watch. Like, I've done this before, but then I gave all the models to my brother. Oh, there it is. There it is. We can do that. We'll go ahead and copy that link, and I'll drop that in chat so people can see what we're aiming for here. Yeah, Epsilon, that, that actually looks quite nice. Um, not 100% hmm. sure what it's supposed to be, but that, I think, is part of the charm. I don't think it's Eldari, but it looks Eldari. I know, it looks like it could be a Harlequin, but I don't think it's supposed to be a Harlequin. Maybe it's um, similar to, but legally distinct Harlequin. It could be. The, Whatever I, it is, it's going to eat at a very expensive restaurant. It is. It's a very fancy place. It's called a very fancy place, but it's in French. Ah, yes. Um, I La Place Fancy. My life. That's what it is. It's La Place Fancy. I'm sure if Psyduck <laughs> were in here, I could bully him into admitting that, yes, he took French in high school. No, he doesn't remember any of it. That's also fair. Uh, at some point, I'm going to need to take a couple of minutes here to go feed the resin printer. But that can wait for about 10, 15 minutes. Well, I mean, if you want to just run and go do that real quick and come back, you're welcome I... to. No, no, I, I have to find a USB drive first. You know, I, I'm I'm familiar with this process. What are you printing? Oh, I've got a buddy doing some custom dice, so I'm running off uh, some masters for him, and then after that, I don't know, I just need to get something going, because I've got too much resin sitting around. I'm familiar with that problem. I have an unopened bottle, and I'll get another one in two weeks. Oh, what are you running with? Just, uh, uh, you know, delving into the nerd things. Uh, Elegoo ABS-like gray. Because okay. I've had good luck with that, and it beats the hell out of the standard stuff I was using before. Yeah, yeah, depending on uh, what you're going for, I've had reasonable luck with it. I'm more a fan of the um, Soraya Tech, but that's down to Soraya Tech. I've never had a great result with, but I've never had an awful one. Let's see, for the most part, since I moved over to the Mars 3, I haven't had any issues with the ABS look. Yeah, I found um, an upgrade kit for my OG Photon to uh, move it to a mono screen, and I'm tempted there. You gotta be careful I there. I, have... I did that once, and mm -hmm. like, yes, it was faster, and it worked great for a few months, but I was constantly fighting with it, and failures, and not getting the detail out of it I wanted, and I think I got a dud screen. That's certainly possible. I've gone through like four or five screens on that thing, mm -hmm. and only some of them were my fault. Hey, well, like I said. Uh, so, Brofisticus, funny you should mention that. One of the things I did with the, uh, the CR-10 I've got downstairs, I did have like a foot-tall um, locust, and it was mighty cool. That's a big locust. I'm sorry, not locust. No, no, uh, catapult. No, uh, the locust uh, I did was much smaller because the legs just were having none of it. See, I, I have always wanted to paint like a desk scale uh, Mad Cat, but no one has a printer big enough. Well, you have to print okay. it in pieces. As I a matter of fact, uh, if you go to uh, what's the name of that website, Squick? It's like. Uh... VG something, I can't even remember, but there there is a website that has, like, articulated 10-inch scale Battletech files. I don't even need articulated. I just want something uh, 12 to 18 inches tall that what? I can okay. actually paint. Once you're getting I... into that size, you want something that was designed to be printed at that size. I disagree, because I am a silly human. This is true. Uh, sure. And... Oh, he's trying to convince us again, guys. Yeah, when... Remind me after the stream. We, we can talk further without taking up too much more of the airtime on this topic, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, an STL is an STL. And while you do have to alter your support planning somewhat, eh, going bigger, I usually had pretty good luck with. I mean, uh, at a certain point, you do you do need to hollow it, and you need to make sure it can drain and all that kind of stuff. Oh, sorry, I should clarify. At, at that size, uh, I'm talking FDM printing. Ah, okay, uh, okay. Printing. Yeah. 
and that makes all the difference. It makes a tremendous amount of difference. It won't break the first time it falls over that way. That is not entirely true. <laughs> that that sounds like there is a story behind that one, but... Well, I've printed some items, and sometimes they get gravity on them, and then I have two items. That's right, sometimes folks. Sometimes they get gravity on them. Okay, I'm not sure what being a filthy clanner has to do with having marauder files there, Stevie. Yeah, I mean, anyone can steal a mad cat or a marauder or, you know... Look, if it's not nailed down, it's legally yours. That's it. Just leave before the police show up. That's that. This is, uh, in fact, uh, legal injured. I advise no one to look into that. Do not take legal advice from the Black Pants Legion. The Black Pants Legion no. is not a lawyer. Of all the uh, professions that we currently contain within us, I don't think any of us are lawyers. And On I don't... the other hand, being an inner sphere lawyer would be like uh, the whole meme on, uh, you know, the uh, ye olde doctor. It's like, yeah, you got uh, ghosts in your lawsuit. You should do <laughs> cocaine about it. I mean, if that's going to be inner sphere, what's a periphery lawyer like? Yeehaw, shotgun. <laughs> All right, listen up. You give me uh, two two hundred thousand C bills. I'll make this disappear. I'm just sitting here imagining like a dude in a white. This is a C bill. This is the periphery. We it's... do business exclusively in oyster shells. <laughs> uh, you ever seen that uh, movie Demolition Man? Yeah, like that. Okay, let me let me go ahead and answer Lichter real quick. Um, you will find a lot of luck on my mini factory and Patreon. Mm, true that. And didn't Printables just add a uh, paid option as well? I actually don't know Printables. Uh, Printables is the rebranded uh, Prusa. Uh, ah, okay. Printer thing. I never use it. it. Well, it's it is fast becoming what Thingiverse was in its heyday. Oh, so not shit. Yes! I so remember when started... Thingiverse was not shit. Wonderful times, unfortunately, passed. Okay, guys, I'm starting it. I'm putting plaid on the shoulder pads of this thing. It's going to be subtle, and you may not be able to see it on camera. Oh, no. But I will Solid take... Stuart, that is amazing. I will I will take some pictures of it after we're done. He has begun the plaid. <laughs> this is the plaidening. Begun the plaid wars have. <clears throat> Man, it's not even a plaid war. What we're going to do, we're going to take that big old armor vehicle, we're going to put some pants on it, and it's going to be fantastic. I am not boom-howering my way through another stream, <laughs> damn it. Not doing Why not? Standard amount of human Why not, enjoyment. Para? <laughs> no, no. It took me hours to get out of Boomhauer last week. We're not doing it again. There are many other voices available to sample on human demand. Oh, let's see. Now, when we were talking about periphery lawyer, I couldn't help but think of like a lawyer in a white seersucker suit wearing black suspenders. He's just sitting there running his thumbs back and forth behind the suspenders going, well, I may be a simple Canopian lawyer. <laughs> I, the way I'd like to think this uh, works out, because you, you're on the periphery, right? Sure. Hey, halfway through closing arguments, the lawyer just pulls out a gun and starts pointing it at the jury. <laughs> It'd be a damn shame if y'all didn't get home to your loved ones tonight. And then the judge pulls out like a rocket launcher and he's like, mm-hmm. Council will find his way back to his seat or council's seat will be found for him. <laughs> that sounds correct. <laughs> the councilor will find his way back to his seat. Lest, it become, lest it become necessary that the council find no seat available to him. <laughs> council will find himself a seat, or council will find his eternal slumber. Hmm. Oh, that's good, but so is, like, from the top rope with a steel chair. <laughs> no! I don't really... Look, the point is, we need clan lawyers. 
Oh god, I don't even... You dare Elemental. refuse my legal bachal? <laughs> this bachal was not bargained and done, therefore it was not legal. This calls for a litigation of reaving. Oh, no. <laughs> but also, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I feel like if Cookie were in here tonight, litigation of reaving would be the next clip. You oh, dare to you dare to deny my litigation of <laughs> Christ. This is what we're doing now. This is what we're doing now. We're all battletech lawyers. We're not even rules lawyers. We're in universe lawyers. Welcome to the shitpost dimension. Now now, hands Davion, the uh, the fine representative here of the uh, the, the, the Federated Sons, I say, I say Federated Sons here, uh, may have, in fact, uh, been grooming this young Steiner lady here from a very early age, and the, uh, this council oh. finds this most reprehensible. I'm sorry, are we crossing a political line here? No, no I, say, I... I say, I object to you stating that. Uh, he has not been grooming nobody from no age. He does not need to groom anyone, as this is his second cousin. Now, wait a minute. And then Cranston Snord steals the judge's gavel. <laughs> <laughs> Cranston Snord replaces the gavel with a roofing hatchet. Hey, you know what? <laughs> this, uh, this gavel looks pretty nice. Maybe I can put it on one of my mechs. I'm going to take this yes. thing here, and I'm going to leave him this here uh, shingle hatchet so that he can split the desk when he swings it next time. It's like, no, it's a hatchet man now, sir. Sir, that is a rifleman. No, it's got no, on it. no, hey, hey, hey. It's not a it's it's not a rifleman. Okay, maybe it's an axe-shaped bayonet. Now are you happy? Yeah, one per barrel. That's it. That's right. That is a rifleman with four hatchets on it. Don't ask questions! <laughs> Oh, okay. no, it's got the uh, the torso that spins, so it's just helicopter <laughs> Shit. It's an urban <laughs> mech with just flails instead of arms. This is a good plan. This is an excellent plan. There is literally no downside. What could possibly go wrong here on Solaris 7? Here in the Steiner Arena, where we're up against... I'm trying to think back to some BattleBot shit that had flails on it. I'm coming up dry, but, like... That's definitely where I'm aiming right now. Yeah, there was uh, Mauler. Oh, they didn't really do much with uh, flail-type weapons early on due to logistical complications, and then later due to uh, rules regarding flail-type weapons. But uh, I I'm just remembering like very early battle bots when uh, Jamie Heineman and uh, Adam Savage did it with Blendo. Oh, yeah, uh, Blendo, yeah, co-best of show, co-first place, several years running. Because... Terrifying, it rips off chunks of enemy robot and dents the bulletproof glass. Yes, Blendo was ruled as illegal in competition because the insurance for the show wouldn't cover him. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, um... No, we need like Solaris Seven Lawyer Arena. I would watch the. Fuck <laughs> That's out of that. now, now, now. If my fine, I say, I say, my fine Liao opponent would care to put his his Dao sword down, then this fine Merrick man would choose to engage in verbal fisticuffs with him. Honorable third party, missile launch go. No shit. <laughs> now, now, I say, I say, that's that the that, that's not uh, that's not pool there. I cast Yeehaw from the attack <laughs> position. I knew we should never agree to marrying Hegemony, being our honorable third party. <laughs> I say, I say, who let them in here? <laughs> Octone, we have let in the Marians. Oh, oh no. I would also watch Atlas Court. <laughs> Judge Atlas. Oh. <laughs> Hello, bring in the first try. <laughs> Two lawyers enter, one lawyer leaves. 
Oh, yeah. No, just... two lawyers enter pieces of one lawyer. <laughs> Oh my! Yeah, that's that's not gonna be problematic at all. <laughs> yeah, just night court, but with Max and Violet. That's it. We'll get uh, John Larroquette in it. It'll be great. Yeah, and you have Bull as the token clan elemental. No, no, no. He, he doesn't really understand what's going on. No, Bull is there because law justice. Bull is literally like we brought him on entirely so that he can wear an Atlas costume, like he's in a, a Sentai car, uh, uh, Sentai yeah, okay. show. I'm with you. Maybe we I get. I may the... or may not be getting uh, some more speed paint ready. Do it. Ooh, nice. Maybe we can get the dude that played Hightower in the Police Academy movies to come in and make sound effects for it. Yeah, that dude was in Carl Lawrence. Winslow. No, not Carl Winslow. Okay. Now, Carl Winslow is uh, well known for playing cops in absolutely everything he was ever in, but that's not who I meant. He didn't play a cop in uh, Spaceballs. Is he in Spaceballs? Yes, he was. How was he in Spaceballs? Wait, uh, that's the sound effects guy? Beep, the creeps, and the sweeps. Yeah, yeah, the radar operator. Yeah. What? Was not a cop. I don't think that was Carl the Winslow. Steiner, the Steiner legal team would just be the Harlem Globetrotters of the courtroom. <laughs> They'd be the Harlem Globetrotters from Futurama. Hey, thanks for the follow, uh, Mez44. Indeed. No, the other thing that I'm now thinking of why, is why like, have you decided to do this? <laughs> listen to this random ass bullshit pour, pouring out of our mouths. You signed up for this. Like nobody hey. made you do this. I don't think is somebody making you do this? Legally no. For legal purposes, that was a joke. But uh Oh god, I was gonna say something else. What on earth else was I gonna say? Not that anything I've said tonight makes any fucking sense since we got past the here's what I did this week section of the show. That's why I've kind of been quiet is because you guys are just uh, going at it. And just, I, I'm just enjoying listening to it. Our mouths open and bullshit pours out. Welcome to the New America Workshop! Ye and or ha. <laughs> Welcome to the New America Workshop. Y'all got any yees I can haw? Is that desirable amongst the humans? <laughs> Over a very specific brand of them, yes. They're called. Do you think they do like parking validation for anything over forty tons. I think if you park something that's over forty tons, they're going to have a hard time finding a tow truck for it. So you're probably safe. Well, yeah, but there's so going to be a financial itself. incentive. So, like, can you boot a mech with a couple of semis can and you boot a, whole... a mech? Yeah. Shit, now I have to think about it. Yeah, with a couple of semis, you pull them up one each side of the foot, and then you just use a bunch of ratchet straps. I'm not sure that's going to stop it. It could walk through a building. They can, but at that point, they've already got momentum. So the question is, could it lift a building? Mm, I don't know. I suppose it depends on how firmly you latch that shit back together. Welcome to chat, Mez44. This is our... Weird ass bullshit hour of uh, the new Merrick workshop. Yes, this is happening. <laughs> They've invited me on. Congratulations! Chased me off yet? <laughs> because every time we have Squick on, crazy shit starts happening. Like it's you a can't weird episode. That was my fault. Like it's a weird episode of Scooby Doo, and we don't have an old farmer to blame for anything. I blame old farmers for many things. This is true. Some he does. They are guilty of. Or frankly, he's constantly doing. It. He's just like, oh, look at that old farmer. He's like fucking making corn and shit. And it's just like, yeah, that's his job, Squick. It's like, How I'm on to dare. this dude. Has he turned it on its side yet? Uh, no, that's why he's mad. Such a thing even possible with modern science, technology, with and manufacturing techniques. With modern cornology, anything's possible. That's right. Anything is possible when your man smells like an old spice man and not a lady. Please stop I'm sniffing my men. <laughs> I'm on a horse. That's <laughs> that's right, Squick. In fact, we are current... I think, at some point... Now, I'm not sure anybody's going to do this, but I really feel like we need to do this at some point, is we need to just like change over the live stream from like 
between shows overnight and just have the corn cam on. I mean, I'm, I'm not against that, but we should have some kind of commentary ready to go. Uh, and Omega, Omega Epsilon, has gifted a uh, sub over to Mez44, so thanks kindly. Indeed. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Whether you want it to be or not, you're one of us now. Goobble and, and gobble, that's... goobble gobble. One of us. One of... Um, anyway... <laughs> Looks like Mad Ducks 42 may have submitted something. Ooh. So, my hopes. We'd love to see what you're working on. These are things which will... Now, I would love to tell you, oh, I'll pull it in at the end of the cast, but I, I don't have access to the email, so it's probably going to be next week. Yeah, that, that's fair. Things are nope. a little yeah, bit too weeks. Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, because yes, is... I'm going somewhere else next week from location redacted to different location redacted. Oh, and we got a hype train incoming uh, I... as Mad Dogs gifted a tier one sub to Spades 163. The hype train. Oh, we certainly you. appreciate it. Which reminds me, I think eight, or I think uh, Summer Games done quick starts next week. So um, maybe I think there's some kind of Steam sale that just kicked off. Yes, too, this so... is also true. So Summer Games done quick rolls around and then we all have to shout orb and have hype trains. Ooh. I'm sorry, Squick. What? Oh no! What? <laughs> what have you done? What, what you What you did last night, and you, no one uh, knew that the Steam sale was going to be happening. Oh crap! What did I do last night? <laughs> you drank a lot, yeah, okay, and you yeah. woke up without pants. <laughs> I mean, I usually wake up without pants. That's because I take them off before I go to bed. It's a cause and, you, and effect. And you call yourself a Black Pants Legion member. Tigress Rex has redeemed Stretch, followed by <laughs> Hydrate, <laughs> <Hydrate, laughs> <ladies> and <laughs> internal and external. Now, I just... Uh, orb, Sasko, Orb. Now, I, I want to go... All right, one Stretch and one Hydrate. Now, I want to... rotated my skull. I, I want to go ahead and uh, give... Oh, uh, weathering models with shoe polish. Mad Ducks, that's a new one on me. Like, I don't see any reason it wouldn't work, um, but I don't think it's the best option. I would say that depends on the model, and that would probably be better for... Um, That'd be better on squick stale stuff, yeah. Yeah, even then, you do want something to lock that polish in because it's going to want to go on an adventure. <laughs> the mighty shoe polish adventure! By yes, the way, which guys. Unfortunately, can involve your other possessions. Now, guys, um, while we're talking about pondering orbs, because I'm seeing Omega Epsilon bring it up, ponder your orb. Like on this. Oh, I got one of them. I need to paint. That's a damn fine light scatter. I'm going to be honest with you. This is all dry brushing. I, dry brushing is a powerful technique. It is. We talked about it last week or the week before on WBPL 76. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, right here, WBPL 76, your source for oh, information shit. on forbidden techniques the world over. You too can learn to paint like an expert with techniques like not putting enough paint on the brush and then going at it furiously until things look beautiful. <laughs> I mean, that's a little on the nose, but yes, guys, I think Ralphie's, <laughs> I think Ralphie's throwing pennies at us, guys. Oh, okay. Ow! Yeah. That again? Ah, oh, God. Thank Why? you. Why are they jangling? Because they my very normal human torso. They've got because, spurs. Uh, because she got spurs that jingle, jangle, jangle. That jingle, jangle, jingle. Jingle, jangle. As we roll right, Mary. No, we're not going to do it. We're going to get a strike. I have <laughs> laid down red paint on my palette, and it may or may not look like a dick. <laughs> I mean, Blonde. like you, you can see it right here, right here. Here's here's the dick on my palette, accidentally. Ah, yes, the paint shwangus. We know it well. <laughs> yes, the lost Herodric paint shwangus. <laughs> what? Yes. Stay a while and listen. Stay a while well and perhaps... Known. Stay a while and perhaps you will enjoy the paint shwangus. Oh, fuck my bowels. It's Diablo. Oh, my. Well, that's certainly <laughs> problematic. And that, that'll probably get us taken off of Twitch. We'll see what happens. 
That's right. This has been WBPL 76. Fuck my bells. It's Diablo. Baba booey, baba booey. Well, folks, it's been fantastic to be with you this evening. Uh, we're gone. <laughs> We 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 had a good run, folks. Um, well, thanks for getting us out here. And y'all can't yeah, that, see this, but he actually does have plaid on his shoulders and arms. I'll take a picture. Never, they never figured that it would be the painting stream that got them removed. Well, I mean, I mean to be fair, Coffee Baron's just down there in the wee hours of the morning, just doing crazy shit. So who knows? That's right. Very normal. That's right, guys. If you uh, hop on to WBPL76 in the wee hours of the American morning, you may run into Yippio the Copy Baron doing his own painting stream here on WBPL76. WB... Wait, wait, wait. I have a button for this. I'm going to push the button. You have a button? WBPL76 broadcasting the world over. Why don't I have this button? <laughs> it's a pretty good button. <laughs> I don't have many of his buttons, but those buttons are all fun. I am sad. The fuck don't I have these buttons? Don't be sad, just enjoy our broadcast from the luxury of your own home. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you here today can learn the secrets of painting and paintology as used throughout the atmosphere, the periphery, and the clan... whatever the fuck they have. <laughs> Hey, 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 Squick. Pentag Pentagram Worlds. It's the Pentagram Worlds. <laughs> the Kerensky Cluster. Oh, that hey. also sounds like a restaurant. <laughs> Come on down hey, to the Kerensky Cluster. You can have yourself a big old plate of uh, fried sea fox. Yeah, what is it? It's a bunch of animals. We just dip them. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what it is. We dip them and um, we, we, we add spice. That's it. That's right. That's right, guys. The Pentastar Worlds are well known for effectively being a fried seafood restaurant. Squick. Yes, hello. Please hit that button again and talk about the Zeppelin races. That's right, the Zeppelin races coming to you now live from just outside of town where the giant flammable gas bags can't go off and take down the donut shop a third time without significant effort. We've got a Mighty fine battle lined up for you today with five individual, four, four individual zeppelins and one <laughs> massive fire. Please, we're starting off great. I see gunfire from up here, and oh boy, we're in for a long night. Firefighters are on the way, but they're not going to be fast enough to save that side of town, no sir. <laughs> wow, I don't know how you're doing this, Squick. We're going to have to have a talk later on, but I'm loving it. <laughs> you might as well be McDonald's. Is, is this desirable? Because I'm loving it. Ah, wonderful! <laughs> oh, God. Thank you. The, the dream has come true. Make-A-Wish <laughs> has uh, followed through. Therefore, I can die now. Guys, this uh... was the last time any of us ever saw or heard from Morlax. It was a very <laughs> sad night. He died happy. We I died at least having finished that model. Hey! Hot damn. I mean... That's not nothing. And by the way, we're all going to blame Squick for it because Squick killed him with his voice. You can't prove that. Many humans have said voice words. Yes, but I, I think you might have been trained in the future by the Bene Gesserit. I'm not sure. That also sound, Maybe I'm just hungry. That would definitely also be a sandwich shop. The have Bene you, Gesserit you... sandwich shop. Yeah, that's what happened. Have you not had food again, Squick? I ate food. I ate the normal amount of human food. Squickulies. Screaming robot. Squickulies. Did you yes, consume? Hello. Did you consume adequ adequate nourishment? I mean, probably the meats are still available. The meats are still, folks. The meats are still available. Apparently, he went to Arby's, oh. where he'd had yeah, the meats. meats. Now that Arby's has a hamburger, what in the fuck world am I living on now? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, oh this is Mad Ducks. Sick. Mad Ducks. I've talked about white paint here. Frustrated with Citadel and tried Vallejo, and I'm so... I have another option. I have another option. Heavy body artist acrylic. This shit is amazing. I like this. I like this. 
This is good. It's very thick. It's very thinnable. It's made with titanium uh, oxide, so it's good. It's single. Oh, so it's to sunburn. It is. It's uh, it's single pigment paint. It's very good. It's like ten dollars a tube, but it'll last you for fucking ever. Hey, hey, Para. Hey, Para. Hey. Uh, in uh, in Discord. Meanwhile, back yeah. at the ranch. Yeah, that, that's my stuff. That's my stuff. Yes. Why that? That looks like. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. I can almost read that. It says ink tensity, the tensity of inks. That's um, wow. That's definitely a tagline, and it's commercially available. Commercially available only at some place that's not WBPO seventy six because we don't sell shit yet. Yes. Ink tensity, and it is uh, very very white. <laughs> it's so white that it plays. I don't know, classic rock and country music on the radio everywhere it goes. I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's not fair. Okay. You know, I'm I'm looking at the things you've painted here, and what? I've come to a conclusion. Either wizards are much larger than I previously imagined, or that is a very small robot. I could go either way. I mean, to be fair, it is Saruman, so he could be very, very large in his chosen form. Yeah, but now that sounds like a Pokemon. I guess that doesn't explain the ball. Theramon! <laughs> and then wizard shit happens. <laughs> See, he evolves from Saruman to white to Saruman in many colors. He's a two-evolution Pokemon. Theramon! No. And then he evolves into a, a spirit Saruman of wind. The the Saruman the turncoat. That, that's when he's many colors. Like, and then, so then he dies and he's just, like, wind. So I'm just going to throw this out here. Like, Saruman the stabbed? <laughs> That's a lot of evolutions. Are, are we sure he's a Pokemon? Uh, he he's, could be a Digimon. Like, you'll know he's a Digimon if he pulls a gun. <laughs> he has a Palantir. I don't think it's quite the same thing. Yeah, but if he just gets up from the table and you're like, aha, I'm going to fight a wizard. And he's like, I cast Glock. Okay, what the fuck did I miss in Digimon? Um, The casting of Glock, apparently. Glock, 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 Glock. <laughs> I uh, also yeah I I don't even Glock know. Mon. <laughs> that sounds like an eye condition. <laughs> Glaucoma Mon. Oh oh oh. Let's get oh. a little bit of large laser blue in here, which by the way is just turquoise. It's it's different enough from the blue that's already on. And frankly, guys, like this isn't perfect, but I'm pretty happy with him. And he has, you oh, you can kind of see it on the camera. His shoulders are plaid. It's just a two color plaid. You can kind of see how it crosses on there. Yeah, that works. Yeah, black watch crab. Black watch crab. <laughs> black watch crab. Whoop snap. Black watch crab. Give him the clamps. Applying clamps to problem. <laughs> apply clamps directly to, to the, the forehead. You got them with the Black clamps. watch clamps apply directly to the forehead. Now hit them with the doom ray. The, do the ray? That's right, folks. Right here, WBPL 76. Coming up next, you'll have Squick sells you shit from the periphery. That's right. Squick has for you the finest of rays of doom. Rays of doom brought to you by Ronco. Yeah, it's the Ronco Doom Ray, currently yeah. available in green, round about one ton each, and available for three times the price of a medium laser, which it definitely isn't. It is definitely better than a medium laser. Medium lasers... 100%. Medium lasers, example. they're red. I mean, this is green. It's got to be better. Yes, and in addition to that, your standard laser has a wide variety of terribly vulnerable... Why objects. did you turn into Q from the Bond movies? Yes, 007, this laser can take on a different number of hues if you just twist the dial on your watch. We've replaced all of the fragile glass parts with a delicate plastic that better suits your constitution and fighting style of not actually using your gun. Gun oh, hold, hold on a second here. Super Chief, what the actual fuck? 
So, somebody else <laughs> click that link. Turbo America. <laughs> that thing didn't wait for the outcome of today's Supreme Court ruling. They were fucking Ooh. ready. We're not talking about politics. This is a joke for legal purposes. Anyway, let's do an X Men. Uh huh. Uh huh. Others. That's fine. X Men. We're doing an X Men now. X Men. Na 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 na. I don't know why he's a Ghostbusters X Man. Maybe we should get Stryker in here so he could come up with something for it. But let's do it. I mean, so here's the logic chain. And I think as it goes. So, ghosts are undead. And vampires are undead. And Please. vampires are hurt by the sun. And the sun is nuclear power. And nuclear power powers battle mechs. And battle mechs have axes which can hurt things. Therefore, an axe man can be a ghostbuster. I'm willing to accept this. Guys, you heard it here first. This is a melee proton pack. <laughs> oh, that's a terrifying phrase. <laughs> oh, good lord. Melee Proton Pack, brought to you by the same people that brought you Not a Medium Laser from Ronco. Legally, it's distinct. Legally distinct from Medium Laser. That's right, folks. You sent me a text it's message. As seen on TV, Medium Laser. Nobody sent me a text message. My phone just lit up for no reason. <laughs> Is Dracula is very weak to an ERPPC. I would like to think so. Jesus Christ, I hope. <laughs> I cast science at the undead horror. What you got there? It's called UV laser. I'm sorry, it's called what? You know, yeah, just try it, kid. <laughs> you know, Squick, this sounds like one of those things where it's like, vampire in the modern world tries to invade the house of a person that owns a resin printer. And then scene two is just like, <laughs> the vampire gets domed by the resin printer. No, no, it just uh, somebody holds up their uh, UV uh, nail spa that they use to cure their shit after it comes out of the printer and they turn to dust. Ooh. Coincidentally, I use a nail spa because it was cheap and it does the job. Okay. I will say, quality of life wise, like I used a nail spa. I've used a bucket with uh, silver sprayed inside of it and one of those rotating tables and a mm -hmm. UV lamp. I've, I've done some weird stuff. And the quality of life change in moving to a dedicated UV station uh, was pretty great. You know, I don't have space for one, and that, I, I've thought about it. Downside. I have thought about it. I started out, like, I built a box for uh, a UV station that was all going to be uh, UV LEDs. And it's, like, I built it out of OSB, and I lined it with aluminum foil, and I put the, the LEDs in it, and it worked once, and the LEDs died. Oh, that's unfortunate. So, Nail Spa was next. And Nail Spa does the job. And Nail Spa has been doing the job for nearly three years now. So, I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can't argue with that kind of uptime. And by and large, roughly three minutes worth of cure time has worked almost every time for me. Like... 90 seconds, flip it over, 90 seconds, and it's it's usually good. If it needs more, I'll do it again. I wonder if anyone's picked up on what, how I'm painting this thing yet. I can't imagine you haven't. Yes, yes, Squick got it. Squick got the $64,000 question. I'm painting with a brush. <laughs> oh, my God. I observed it with my human eyes. Mm, how keep... I was able to point out that... Wait, is that... Hmm, I need to check my reference here. Ooh, I'm looking forward to what this turns up. Okay, nope, it wasn't that. It is not a Blackwatch Axeman. It is much dumber than that. Axe Watch Man Hammer? Yes, it's an Axe Watch Man Hammer. How did you know? I invented it with my mind. But if you invented it, how did I already have it? Science man's. Squick, are you a witch? 
I is this desirable amongst the humans? Squick, are you two witches wearing a trench coat? You can't prove that. <laughs> Squick, are you kobolds or goblins wearing a trench coat? I okay, that really depends. Are there shiny rocks available for stealing or for eating? Uh, I don't know which one ends up going which way in this case, because I feel like both are accurate. I have many dice. Okay, this uh, black with the striped yellow, uneven, kind of random-ass yellow, stripey color scheme here, why that kind of Axeman would be a first Somerset Strikers Axeman. Now he's going to strike you right there with that axe. Squick, this is the cartoon axe man. Oh, God. I had toys from that era, but I never got to see the cartoon. It's on YouTube. Like, I... uh... Hmm. You let... don't want to see it. You do I want to see do. it just once. Now, let me tell you. Um... I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. HPG has remastered the video on these. So yes, I I've been listening to Renegade HPG off and on. Yeah. Um, and they're now uh, remastering the sound on some of them as they get the technology and opportunity to do that. The sound on some of them is pretty rough, but my son loves watching it. He will wander back to my office on most Saturdays and go, "Daddy, I want to watch BattleTech." Cool. <laughs> Let's watch BattleTech, Sam. And then we watch BattleTech, and he loves it. And then he wants to do another one, and he keeps. I've already made him two Axemen, and he keeps asking for more Axemen. So I guess my son's a Steiner man. Oh, they're all so problematic. It's more like pick your incredibly fucked up failed state. <laughs> Personally, I'm a, I'm a Free Worlds League man myself because, I mean, I'm already a hillbilly that's prone to infighting and bickering and will gladly turn on outsiders at the drop of a hat, so. Free Worlds League I, I it is. I don't have a horse in this race. It's like, you're all terrible people. Hey, Purple Bird is strong. Purple right. Bird is strong. Is chat ready to see uh, what I have created and come up what with? What have you? Give me just a second. Put one more stripe on his head. It's very oh, important only... to have head stripes on your weird-ass Axeman paint job. Someone make a note of that. Ha <laughs> ha! Dangly parts. Also, I would like to uh, point out once again, um, purple burb is strong. Can I get some love yes. for? Can I get some love for purple burb in the they chat? Only strong because drink excite powder. No, that's that's canopus. <laughs> That's one of them. They have a flag. It counts. They're a periphery nation. They're barely a nation. They're Space Vegas. Turbo Space Vegas. You're not entirely off base. Yeah, I mean, at least the Solaris jocks are having fun with games of, yeah, okay, so how many lasers can you fit into the robot dick zone? So what if I took this here Urban Mac... And I swapped out all the regular bits for small lasers. Small lasers? Ted, why would you want to do that? Because I can get more of them in. Well, I guess that's what fair, if, Ted. What if we took this atlas and we removed the arms and we put urban mechs on instead? Oh, no. And then we also took off the legs and we put urban mechs on instead. And then, instead of the torso, urban mechs. But we're keeping the head. Now... Squick, why does it feel like what you're trying to do at this very instant is create, like, Doug Trio Irby? I was going for Reverse Voltron, but that works. Doug Trio Irby, folks. Whether you wanted it or not. We've decided if you tape three Urban Mechs together, it's just one Assault Mech. I mean, you're not wrong from a weight classification. Okay, there you go. Tell us all about it, Warlax. Well, I was told to go with red, uh, gold, and purple. Uh, the flag, I went with purple. Red and gold worked well for the armor. 
Uh, I felt that to offset it, the visor should be green. Um, but yeah, the, I, I went with that. I uh, put some brown over the red in the pants to try mm -hmm. and offset it. Um, it didn't work out real well, but hey. <laughs> I like it I, for human praise. I like it. If if I were to offer any advice, if you were so interested, to chaos it up a little bit, I would add some verdigris green to that gold. Okay. Well, what I had kind of felt is that um, I might work on the flag a bit more and get some chaos symbols and imagery through there that'll work um, you're, you're that, also you're also getting comments from chat they want to know where the pink is well um i did actually mix up a pink and on the uh armor plates i used it to edge highlight along the armor plates there you go folks he did use the pink excellent i'd want to call out that fly okay so here comes the praise train deal with it this praise is zork now. praise zork I like what you've done with the space flag there. And while I understand it isn't necessarily part of the context that the character was pulled from, I think it tells a decent story on its own. The fact there's standing there like that, the differentiation between the uh, metal armored section and the pants, I think actually works really well. I agree. And since you've got that dusty look on the cloth, it meshes well with what you've got going down near the boot creases. Uh, and also plays nice with the presumably urban set piece represented in that disc there. In fact, they've got the, uh, the shiny gold thing onto the end of the gun that matches their sash, shoulder pads, and helmet highlights. Yeah, they're there to show the flag. That's exactly what they're going to do. And just hope nobody shoots them in the leg. <laughs> well, I do appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Oh. But yeah, I need to let the uh, paint on the flag dry because I first and foremost used the speed paint to get in there. Yeah, and, and that, went, that takes and a little I, bit. Yeah, but then I went over it with an ink. Oh, that to, takes even longer. I would also like to know, are those are those black pants? They, they seem to be black pants. Unfortunately, I will have to let uh, chat know. No, they are not, because I thought that a brown red would work better with the rest of the red. They are so brown britches. That, no matter your intention, any they pants, look black. Fair enough. Any pants become black with enough wear and not enough washing. That is true. That's right, folks. Any pants can be black with the right mindset. Black pants are in your heart. That that is a major medical condition. You should get that checked out. <laughs> hey, Doc, I was taking a look at my heart the other day, and it was like there's some black britches in there. Where? That's probably not ideal. How did you do that? What do you mean you were looking at your heart? How the Proud fuck did kids. you get in here? This is an ophthalmology office. Also, I'm in Canada. Now, I mean... We're, we're, we're sending the crazies to side off at this point. No. Let's see. Let's get some silver on this boy so he can have some silvery bits in his joints. What do you say? Let's do it. Ye, and I cannot emphasize this next point enough. How? Oh. Turbo excitement. Turbo excitement! <laughs> I'm feeling the hype today, are you? I will say yes. Na, na, if it na, means na. I get to live. Na, 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 Now here's the question. Who, what the fuck? Ladies, don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. Ladies and gentlemen, apparently I need to talk to Squick about sound settings because um, I uh, I am unfamiliar with some of these audio tricks. <laughs> That's exactly what you all need, isn't it? You need me to come in here and sound like I'm talking to you from, like, a Victrola. Well, it's certainly available for the fine price See? of I'm on a megaphone. Yeah, um, 
Yes. That's right, folks. Squick is on a Victrola. Squick is, in fact, an Edison wax cylinder. He's... I've been called many things, but my ability to rotate in place while making noise has never been questioned. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a Twilight Zone episode at this point. <laughs> that is... Oh, God. <laughs> but my ability to rotate and make noise has never been in question. Oh, no. Oh, a Bane filter? Um, yeah. The top. Give me a minute. For you. Yes, we will get a Bane filter. Mm. For you. It would be very painful. For you. Oh, shit. I'm now feeling like I, you're like the fucking Zodiac killer or something. This is much more terrifying than Bane. <laughs> Get me a snack from the refrigerator. Okay, Buffalo Bill, I'll get right on it. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Cruz, sir. I am a motivational speaker. You're going to motivate me right the fuck out of this stream. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. And that was the last time we saw Parafix. <laughs> For two weeks, because he's taking vacation next week. That's the only reason. Nobody called the cops. It's fine. It's fine. I said it's fine. Stop asking questions. Megatron film. Um, so I, I should fess up here. I don't actually have any of these labeled by name. I'm just <laughs> messing with settings on here. <laughs> I, don't, um, I don't have anything labeled. I'm just pushing buttons. Okay. I don't know what these are. I have one through six, and all of them have knobs and buttons. Wow. And sometimes that's good. Sometimes that's not so good. Yes, Lord. I hear you. Please, that's Lord, bad. tell us what you desire. I'm averting my eyes, Lord. Good, good. Keep it. Whoa! <laughs> That's what we're looking for. Okay, now he's Max Headroom, guys. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> you you showed up for painting, and you got Squick doing Max Headroom. I've got some kind of robot voice. Okay, so those are all options on there. I, you know... I reckon so. <laughs> That's right, folks. You can get this on uh, Audacity. That's right, Audacity.com. I, I don't actually know if this is Audacity or not. It's just the only point of car reference I have for this. Nah, this is all on a uh, Go XLR with just uh, the power of dicking around. Yeah! Other options are available. The power of dicking around, folks. It's a mighty, mighty power. You should never underestimate it. This is a correct statement. This is how I learn to paint. I do shit and see what happens. Yes. Uh, it's very funny because um, painting, I have often joked, um, is the ultimate in fuck around and find out. You, you're not entirely wrong there. Actually, you're shockingly accurate. Nobody taught me how to do this shit when I was learning how to do it. I just tried shit until I I figured it out. I never, nobody ever told me about dry brushing. And it's just one day I tried it and it worked. This, uh, this mech that I'm working on right now is an Axeman. Uh, it's a White Rook Studios Axeman. I like it a lot. He did variations on it with different weapons. This one has a mace. This one has a proper hatchet. I like this one best, but the mace is pretty good. I shall call it Greg. Yes, this is Greg the Urban Mech. Greg the Urban Mech. Oh shit, I had something I meant to put in one of the who's a what's it with the finger jiggers and forgot. Let me see if I can find it real quick because I, I wanted to talk about this. Let's talk about a thing. Okay. Things and stuff. 
Also, I sent you another photo that is all of the stuff that I have worked on this evening. All the stuff, folks. Every damn bit of... Where did I put that? I don't know. Where are my grandchildren? Did... Who are you people? Why are you in my house? <laughs> Where is my shotgun? When is my shotgun? Now it's in my the shotgun. future. <laughs> the future is defined differently by different people. WBPL seventy six is not responsible for the future. Now is my shotgun. Now uh, is the winter of our discontent. Well put. Yes, Lord. Where did I put that damn thing? Where did you just save that to? Grump, 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 grump. I have a thing. All right, Megatron. You found it. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to need a series of misadventures. <laughs> Why do you sound like you're at the beginning of a Who's Line sketch where you're asking for professions? We're going to pull jobs out of a hat. <laughs> uh, here we have bumbling, incompetent betrayer. Um, Starscream, I believe you'd be perfect. Yes, okay. sir, Lord! Wow, what the fuck have you done to this picture thing? Let's Let's see if we can't make that less awful. Wow, that's... Yes, sir, my lord. I've seen compression, but what we've got here is the end result of putting a can of soup under a battleship dropped from orbit 3,000 miles above. I, I feel like what's just happened here is my computer decided the best way to show this off was, in fact, to run it through a filter that would show you what it looks like on a Super Nintendo. And not like a late period Super Nintendo with like Chrono Trigger, but like early period Super Nintendo. Hey, Will the Great, I had that axe man with the blast panel, with the rotating shoulder missile launcher, yeah. the ejection seat that was the entire head. That thing was pretty great. I always wanted the uh, the Hunchback 2C, but I never got... Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you all. Okay, I was playing the speed hey, paints. Found the pixels. I, I found the pixels. They were lost. I found them. I brought them home. Um, also, I just dropped my paintbrush, and it has fucking vaporized. So, that's good. You are welcome. Anyway. So, I was playing with speed paints, and, uh, purple is still bitch. In case anyone's wondering. These are both done in purple. And there are some obvious differences here. Like, Warlax, you can see the differences in these, can't you? The one, on, okay. the, the one on the left doesn't look great in its base coat, does it? Mm, no. No. It's splotchy. It's uneven. I'm unhappy with it. That's what happens with one thick coat of Hive Dweller purple on it. So the purples are still problematic. The one on the right is two thin coats thinned with water of Hive Dweller purple. Same thing. Looks a hell of a lot better. So the purples are still cantankerous no way to make purple not cantankerous well i don't know the uh the purple alchemy works great but the darker purple just doesn't anyway i want people to see that that as much of the praises of the speed paint as we have been singing they do still have their shortcomings yes they do okay you had sent me something hadn't you but like you can't put them over black well, no, you really need to put all those things over white. And like, maybe you can do a Zenithal highlight there, but they really need to go over white. Do, 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 do. Open this up. Get this thing go, go, and Let's see. That's right. This is now the Thomas the Tank Engine show, which, uh, here, here you go. Here he is. Here, Thomas the Mad Cat. I hope everyone's excited. This is a thing I have. 
Thomas, the engine of madness. Man, if you start looking that shit up, you find it. Like, there there are some yeah. gifts out there that are like, Thomas, the Cthulhu horn. And, but <laughs> they really fucking are. Okay, so there are those, but... Hmm. 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 That's right. My co-hosts are... My yeah, I was gonna say my co-hosts are slowly turning into to testificates. That will happen. Give me your gems. Huh. Aww. Huh. You said no. Okay. Oh, ah, it's so no. big. Why well, must always be big? Fit to screen. Okay. Okay. Tell them, Morlax. There it is. So this is literally just what I was sending because I try to keep up with everything that I've done in an evening. Uh, so I needed to get the XV8s ready for game tomorrow. Uh, the XV88 was based today, still needs some stuff, but at least it is not, uh, uh, gray. Uh, and that, um, legally distinct, uh, bicorn in the center there, mm -hmm. um, I was testing for trying to put together a Bloodraven scheme. Um... It appears that it will work. Mm -hmm. I do have to get the pallid bone to white mixture down. Yeah, there's going to be some of that. You you might. Oh, you might try something aside from the pallid bone. You were that's a speed paint though, isn't it? Uh, it is. Uh, it also is pretty much exactly what uh, parchment used to be. Okay. Okay. Now, as I was saying, like. Guys, if you use the speed paints, do it over white. Like it's, it's just gonna make life better. <laughs> I made an attempt. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I I am is. not giving you hell about it. I thought we had talked about it, and maybe we didn't. But you know, white Mac. Let's let's real quick. Let's. Oh, let's uh, let's not do this one. I like this one. Let's do something else. Uh, you know what? I am mm, one more time. Let's say this hammerhead. We got a hammerhead here, which I think is a clan mech. I think. Hammerhead. White Rook Studios hammerhead. It's very nice. Look, a clan mech is only a clan mech until somebody else finds the keys. <laughs> a clan mech is only a clan mech until someone decides it's their own personal catapult. <laughs> oh. Okay. And now we're going to take this shitty brush that I've had for God knows how long, and we're going to make this bright white fucker orange. And this is white. Just white, white over this, and behold, orange. Actually, it's a God bless. This is a nice fucking orange. It's the nicest fucking orange I have. Well, which oh, which the... orange is that? Uh, fire giant. All hail the OSHA safety mech. Okay, the one that I have. Gotcha. Yeah, I think there's only one orange. I don't know. There are a lot in the mega pack. I got the mega pack. I think it's the only orange. All I'm saying is I have not looked at everything in the Mega Pack. It might be the only orange. I don't know. He doesn't know, guys. Other Lay colors off. are available. <laughs> That's right. If you call 1-800-ARMY-PAINTER, you will get a phone number. I don't think it'll be a legit phone number. It's too many numbers, but... You might talk to someone in Danish. You might accidentally order a Danish. I'm not really sure. Wait, is that an option? Uh, Give me the Danish phone number. <laughs> I desire the snack. <laughs> we told you to eat before you came on, Squick. And You're going to have to wait for the next exit. Uh, I will turn this jump ship around. We will go back to the Merrick Stewart Commonwealth. Do you think they have jump ship taco trucks? I think there are probably jump ship. Or there are probably taco stands inside the jump ships. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. You know, I don't think all of them have abandoned mini malls. I think some of them have very active uh, taco trucks. Or, or if any of you are uh, in, around, or have ever spent time in Athens, Ohio, perhaps burrito buggies. I have heard of the Ohio. The, the I've Ohio. Not experienced the Ohio. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, I, I went to grad school in Athens, and um, 
they ain't nothing in Athens. Like when I say they, when I say they ain't, they ain't nothing in Athens. What is there is lots of bars. There is nothing, nothing in Northern Ohio. This is not Northern Ohio. This is very Southern Ohio, very close to West Virginia. How many Ohio's no, oh, oh. do you have? I don't. Ohio's a weird fucking state, dude. You get very, like, you get some very Midwestern parts. You get some parts of it that are very, like, Mississippi River culture because of the Ohio. You get some parts that are very Northern Kentucky. And then you get some that are <sighs> Rust Belt. So, like, dramatically different. Yeah, okay, yeah. And that's that, That's over white. And that's, like, less than five minutes. There you go. Base coat of orange on a white mag. That's why we do it on white. You want to do it on gray, it's not going to look as good. I can illustrate that, too. Here is a Marauder 2. Marauder 2! It's a fucking radical mech. His uh, his arm pods were a little weird when they printed, so I don't mind doing this. I've been holding on to them for a while. Let's just go ahead and use them for this. And over gray, it doesn't work. Like, he, he looks brown. He... he Actually, as I as I put paint on him, what he looks like more than anything else is a dried up scab. You know, that's better than I was thinking. I don't think I want to know what you were going to say now, Squick. All hail the sewer goblin. The sewer goblin marauder. He's in Snorge Irregulars. Uh, despite their best efforts. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, it's a dinosaur. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Holy fucking shit, fucking dinosaurs. That's right, folks, you have tuned into the painting channel and you've gotten an awful lot of serenading tonight. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, AK, I appreciate you asking. Hey. Quick, could you take it away, please? What are we doing? That's right, ladies and Wait, let me push the talk good button. Oh, he's going to push the talk good button, guys. Ladies and shit, this is Whoa. not what I requested. <laughs> <laughs> now Squick is the ED-209. Past me, you son of a bitch. How dare you. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen, on WBPL 76, reminding you that art can be sent to, um, hmm, that looks like the address. I'm going to say art at WBPL76.com. That's right. A is in alpha, R is in Romeo, T is in tango, the squiggly at sign, WBPL76, that's the name of this channel right here, dot com, just like a real website. That's right. You can make your uh -oh. website with Squarespace. Squarespace. <laughs> I, I love it. Squick presses the button and turns into Jigsaw. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Uh, Who wants to play Para? a game? Yes. Para? Oh, we're at time, uh, aren't we? Has, someone has redeemed an eye break. An eye break. Papa Charlie underscore 2117 has shut down human ocular meat spheres. You know, I knew there was something odd about those meat spheres. <laughs> Timing. <laughs> the other that, spheres. Oh. That, that is also why I keep this as my ringtone because there are times where it just goes off and it is like, no, that is just perfect. <laughs> Robinons. Oh, hello, Cookie. Hi, Cookie. <laughs> Cookie, you have missed some very clippable moments tonight. Oh, a couple of people did clip things. Oh, so I missed that. Those, oh, no, I missed them. It was probably mostly Squick playing with his voice you later. Oh, no. oh God. Oh, there we okay. go. The litigate. Hey, somebody got the litigation of reaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my. No. Oh, no. Is oh, the litigation of reaving. <laughs> The and... show was not bargained and done, therefore it was not legal. Oh, shenanigans. Oh, my go. God. Guys, it is 11 o'clock in the Central Time Zone. It is midnight in the Eastern. Uh, I think it's moon time in California and Washington. So, um... Bold of you to believe we can see the moon through uh, the layer of clouds. My brush broke. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, it's, an, it's a very, very old brush. 
Is it tasty? Uh, I have chewed on it. I'm going to go with a no. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah. Mostly it tastes like lead in China. MPC, MPC, we took an eye break. We took a massive break. Just laughing. You can't see my face. I mean, when I'm not talking, you can see my face over the, you know, shine of the avatar. I also possess a face. He's going he's going to make us count. <sighs> Five. Damn. One. Two. Three. No, I, I want Squick to count. Five. <laughs> yes, Three, Squick, sir. You go ahead. Okay, what are we counting to? I don't know. I want you to. Ten. I want you to count with the voice you later. Eight hundred seventy-six thousand four hundred ten. Eight hundred seventy-six thousand four hundred eleven. And I'm gonna skip a few now. Three billion. <laughs> Yes, now you oh, must all live with Tom's diner in your head. Oh no, who gave him a diner? The bean hut was bad enough. Okay, different <laughs> Tom. Different Tom. Unless you really do want that Tom's big bean pancake. I I am deeply concerned, but also hungry. Okay, okay, okay. We're we're being fussed at now. I break. We'll do it. We'll count. Mine are already broken. Well, I know that, <laughs> but they were secondhand when you got them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Whatever twelve and a half, 11. twelve and three quarter, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Square root of something between 15 and 16, 17, 42, 18, 3, 9, 19, and 20. Blue 42. Down, Hi. down, set. Up, 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 up. There, there, we counted to 20. I'm pretty sure that was like a three minute eye break. So is everyone happy? I have used numbers. Indeed. Y'all. Powers increased. Tau is better than pie. Change my mind. Let's go to bed. Let's do this thing. I still have to work tomorrow. Y'all, thank you for coming in. Send your shit to us at... Squick. That is art at WBPL76.com. Once again, that's art, A-R-T, the stuff you've created with your very own hands, your mind, or even the power of suggestion. At the squiggly A, the one you know oh so very well from email fame. WBPL76, the name of the station right here, dot com, like a real professional adult website. Uh, not an adult web. Look. <laughs> it's a real, not GeoCities website. That's right. Y'all, <laughs> have the goodest of nights. Have fun out there, everybody. Have a wonderful evening. And we're going to the outro now. Later on!